Good evening and welcome to our viewers in the West. Federal prosecutors today revealed what they say is the largest case of college admissions fraud in U.S. history, charging coaches and affluent parents, including Hollywood elite, in a massive bribery scheme to fast-track kids into some of the country's top universities, including Yale and Stanford. Among those arrested, actresses Felicity Huffman and Full House star Lori Loughlin. Today, the accused ringleader of the $25 million scheme pleading guilty. We have it covered from college campuses to the courthouse, starting with Pete Williams at Georgetown. And Pete, a lot of people have reason to be outraged about this story. Including here at Georgetown in Washington, Lester, where the former tennis coach is accused of taking $3 million to admit 12 students as players. Nationwide, 50 people have been arrested. Parents and the college coaches they're accused of bribing. The colleges are some of the nation's most elite, Yale, Stanford, UCLA, eight in all. The FBI says the unwittingly admitted students with inflated test scores or phony athletic records paid for by their parents. This is a case where they flaunted their wealth, sparing no expense to cheat the system so, so they could set their children up for success with the best education money could buy. Among those charged, full house actress Lori Loughlin, desperate housewife star Felicity Huffman, and top CEOs and lawyers. At the center of the scam is William Singer, who ran a college prep business. Getting into the right college will set the trajectory for the rest of your son or daughter's life. He pleaded guilty today, admitting that parents paid him a total of $20 million to get students admitted as athletes, many having never played a sport. He photoshopped the faces of their children onto pictures of actual athletes and got samples of a student's handwriting. Singer then bribed coaches at the schools who put the applicants into their designated admission slots. Prosecutors say the former Yale women's soccer coach was paid $400,000 to admit a student he knew didn't play competitive soccer. Singer also admitted paying test proctors to let someone else take a student's admissions exams to get better scores. The FBI says some parents spend as much as six and a half million dollars for guaranteed admission of their children. And then they disguise their payments to Singer as contributions to a charity he ran so they could deduct the payments on their income taxes. The parents charged today, despite already being able to give their children every legitimate advantage in the college admissions game, instead chose to corrupt and illegally manipulate the system for their benefit. And tonight, prosecutors say more charges are likely. Pete Williams, NBC News, Washington. I'm Miguel Almaguer in Los Angeles, where actresses Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin are headed from the red carpet to federal court amid outrage at college campuses across the country. That's just so incredibly unfair, and it's taking a spot from someone who really deserves to be here and really wants to be here. Hi. Famous for her role on Full House and married to designer Massimo Giannulli, investigators say Lori Laughlin and her husband agreed to pay bribes totaling half a million dollars in exchange for having their two daughters designated as recruits to the USC crew team, despite the fact that they did not participate in crew. Court documents say they even had their girls stage photos as athletes. I'm going to do a dorm room tour today. Laughlin's youngest There's daughter, me. followed by nearly There's two million people on YouTube, spoke about attending USC. I do want the experience of like game days, partying. I don't really care about school, as you guys all know. <laughs> I was pretty pissed off that someone is able to, you know, pay their way into a school that other students have worked really hard to get into. Oscar nominee Felicity Huffman is accused of paying $15,000 to boost her oldest daughter's SAT scores. Her husband, William H. Macy, is mentioned in the indictment but is not charged. Investigators say Huffman arranged for a third party to purport to proctor their daughter's SAT and secretly correct her answers. It's disappointing because it takes a spot from a kid that did it the right way. Tonight, Hollywood's elite accused of paying top dollar to buy admission to a higher education their children did not earn. Huffman, who faced a federal judge just a short time ago, posted a $250,000 bond and also surrendered her passport. Laughlin, who was out of the country earlier today, will likely face a judge tomorrow after she surrenders. Her husband posted a $1 million bond. Lester.